Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Tuesday, the 20th day of June, World Productivity Day. I'm getting a lot done over here. Yes, you Very are. Productive. It's impressive to yeah. watch. World Refugee Day, International Nice Degum Awareness Day. I'm going to have to see what that is. National Hike with a Geek Day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, National Kofi Amon Day, uh, International Surfing Day, National Ice Cream Soda Day, National Vanilla Milkshake Day. You a milkshake fan? You're a malt no, girl. No, I'm a malt girl. National yep. American Eagle Day today as well. So all of those things uh, are happening here. And this uh, International Nastamigas Day is celebrated every year on June 20th. Time to discuss the issue of nystagmus, which <laughs> there's a picture of an that eye. That clears it up. So there's something to do with eyes. All right. Well, I didn't know that's what it was. So now now we know. I feel now smarter. We know. Do you feel smarter? Oh, very much so. I feel so much smarter. World Productivity Day. See how productive we are? <laughs> also, we've got Tuesdays with Charlie coming up. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Give yourself a little credit. It's more important than ever to have a better credit card. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. According to a survey, 57% of dads call Father's Day their favorite day of the year. That was just over this last weekend, by the way. Really? Thank you for all the... Is that your favorite day of the year? No, it's not. No. (laughs) Um, I thought you meant really wondering that it was Father's Day. I'm like, you (laughs) you got me something. What are you talking about? it was Father's Day. (laughs) Anyway, um, according to a survey, they said uh, the amount of money that was spent on Father's Day is $196.23. Uh, that's up from $171 last year. So, Heidi, how much did you spend on me? <laughs> I do you really want to know how much no, that portrait was. I don't want to know, actually. <laughs> she had a painting done that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> she just basically is like, um, this is for Father's Day. Sure it is. Sure it is. <laughs> anyway, there's more information in here. Like I said, this came in uh, tail end of last week, but I already had my surveys and studies and such. But it was talking about Father's Day and Father's stuff. I thought, if I wait much longer, it's not going to make sense. So, (laughs) Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at genesisgoldira.com. That's genesisgoldira.com. Did you know? Brought to you by genesisgoldira.com. Heidi, did you know that some people in Japan who have become accustomed to wearing a face mask have turned to the help of a professional to learn how to smile again? They lifted their recommendation to wear COVID masks recently. That was back in March. Many people realized they hadn't really thought about it, but they forgot how to smile. So how much do you suppose it costs to get a perfect oh my grin? Gosh. Lessons on how to have the perfect grin. One-on-one session no is no idea. Fifty-five dollars per session. Per, per session, but that's how much they just have one session, and they oh. make you smile. And like this is how you do it. See this? <laughs> we get their money, right? Oh, okay, yes. Wow. So here's how you do it. <laughs> lessons to the perfect grin cost about fifty-five U.S. dollars for a one-on-one session. Wow. I'll try to make that you smile so for sad. $45. <laughs> I'd do it for $5. Heck, I would do it for free. I do all the time. We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Amazon Prime Video reportedly about to jump on the commercial bandwagon. So they introduced a thing from Netflix that has ads, Disney Plus that has ads. Now, Amazon Backstreamer is reportedly in the early stages of introducing a Prime Video ad-supported subscription tier. The company reportedly looking at several ways they could implement ads, at showing more ads to existing Prime subscribers by giving them the option to pay more for ad-free alternatives. So I thought they already had that in Freebie. 
Yeah, kind of. Because that's from that Amazon, thing, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. I don't understand what they mean. They're working on it. They're 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 well, done. That's a different. Like I, th- I think maybe they're saying all Amazon Prime now oh, is probably going to have ads in I it. I don't know. Tom Holland is out of office. Twenty-seven year old Spider-Man No Way Home star decided to take a hiatus from acting for just a bit. So that's interesting. Expendables four coming soon to a theater near you. Uh, the first trailer hit the internet. Uh, it's not going to be in theaters till September, but you can see the trailer now. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If that's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring a current one. Whether you're a fan of iPhones or Samsung, they both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. According to a report, one in four adults have the math skills of a nine-year-old. One in four. Whoa. That's like 59%. <laughs> Wait, what? what's that? I'm being told my numbers aren't right. I might be one of them. Honestly, uh... I don't want to say that I'm good at math because Heidi will laugh and say that I'm not, but I'm... I'm better at math than I am at spelling. I'll say that. <laughs> that is true. I'm just saying. I will, I will agree with that. Broad strokes there. <laughs> I can say that. <laughs> Prove me wrong. I'll misspell uh, something in my reply. And some schools in Canada are experimenting with cell phone bans. And as you can imagine, some students and some parents have a problem with this. So let's just listen here. Ontario is the only province with an active ban on cell phones in the classroom. Some schools across the country are implementing rules that would require students to lock up their phone at the beginning of the day or keep it turned off during lessons. What do you think of that? I have no problems with that. I never had my cell phone on me during school. (laughs) Then again, we didn't have cell phones back then. Actually, I did when I was in high school. I, I had a cell phone. But I didn't take it to class or anything. I didn't text people because that didn't exist yet. I didn't I just, use social media. I have media. no problems with kids not having them with them all the time. I really don't. Well, the thing that's interesting, educators who are against a ban on phones say that, that it would be including teachers as well. And others say and that phones... What's you're that? supposed to be teaching, so what? But they're just saying when kids are doing their thing, they would like to be able to, you know, turn on their phone and get something done. Anyway, the others say phones are an important link between school and home, especially for kids at risk of violence. So one of the schools banned mobile phones six months ago, according to a counselor there. The outcome was remarkable. It says, we are seeing improved mental health. Mm -hmm. We're seeing decreased bullying. We're seeing more engagement in class. We're seeing more social interaction. They say kids are playing again, and we're seeing increased academic uh, success. See, I can't even read over here. Again, I have no problems with that. I think it's wonderful. Well, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Why did the chicken cross the road? To save money on insurance at InsuranceChicken.com. Do you have the best plan for you? Find out at InsuranceChicken.com. Let's face it, we don't even want insurance. We need it. But you don't need to overpay. Head over to InsuranceChicken.com chicken.com to see your rates from several different companies all available in one place at insurancechicken.com the other guys have a gecko a duck and an emu why not a chicken insurancechicken.com that's insurancechicken.com it's time now for my favorite program something we do every tuesday just because we can we reach out to my father-in-law for a little thing we like to call tuesdays, tuesdays with, with charlie. charlie it's tuesdays with charlie on the john and heidi Show. And he's here. How you doing, Charlie? In the studio. In the studio. First, <laughs> first time in six years. <laughs> it's it's not, not quite that long, but it has been a bit. Welcome back. How you been? I've been good. Happy Father's Day. We're just a couple days late. Well, but you've been hanging out with us since then. That's so. okay. You, you're always late. <laughs> <laughs> I am usually a step behind. So you got some good stuff for us? Well, I like this studio stuff because I got I got the dog. I got a drink. Yeah. I got stuff to tell you. Our dog is so excited when Grandpa Charlie shows up. Uh, she she's is she in this room now or is she she did? was she, she go in the other room she's down by right. me yeah, somebody she, likes me anyway yes <laughs> somebody around here gets attention from from cassie she doesn't like me so i'm glad she likes you okay hey restaurants don't use dollar signs on their menu because they don't want to remind you you're, you're spending, spending money, money. 
Oh. That is true. I've noticed that. And more and more are doing that, too. What, I remember one time a friend of ours didn't know. She thought it was uh, dollars. Turns out it was 16 ounces. It was $100. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. That's not a bad deal. That was a, sirloin's only $16. No, it's 16 ounces. You guys ounces. go to more expensive places than I go to. Oh, this yeah. was a one-time deal, and we, it was a huge mistake. We wouldn't have gone mistake. if we'd known that, but we went there. We actually like, stole oh, a affordable. bread basket from another person's table because... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too proud. I've seen you steal fries from another table. <laughs> <laughs> What's the big deal? In all fairness, we were hungry. <laughs> yes, we were. <laughs> hey, then, giraffes and humans have the same number of neck bones. Really? What? Theirs are just bigger. Or further apart? No, further well, apart. Well, probably. <laughs> 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 the neck bones are just hovering. <laughs> They may be spaced differently than ours. You don't know. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> That's why if you're a chiropractor for a giraffe, you need to have really big hands. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know dead bodies can get goosebumps? Yeah. Oh, that's you told us creepy. That. Well, I'm telling you it again because you forgot. No, I'm glad I you forgot. told me. I'm glad you told me. <laughs> okay, then. Here we go. 54 million people alive right now will be dead within 12 months. Oh, my goodness. I hope it's nobody oh. in this room. Yeah, I hope so, too. That's awful. That is... Thanks for the positive stuff, Charlie. Way to go, Debbie Downer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just shaking my head. Well, I thought maybe it died on us. <laughs> what the heck? Could you hear it rattle on air? <laughs> Hey, okay, let's let's go this way. George Washington spent about seven percent of his annual salary on booze. Oh wow, yeah, he's that's my about kind right. of guy. That's about right. Hmm. Well, maybe it's about fifteen now because inflation. But yeah, you'd have to count <laughs> the same for that. percentage. <laughs> speaking, of that, <laughs> speaking of that, I better have a little sip right here. <laughs> Where are we at in this thing? Oh, here we go. Mosquitoes pee on you when they suck your blood. Oh, Ew. another reason to dislike mosquitoes. It's kind of an insult. I'm going to suck is. your blood here. <laughs> I don't get bit by mosquitoes much. Do you get bit by mosquitoes, Charlie? No, they don't like me. Yeah, they I don't get like bit me either. All they love the time. Heidi. Love her. Well, that's because the type of booze you drink, they like that. Oh, is that what it is? They is don't it? like. They don't like what I drink. Oh, huh. they just I don't, don't like so. me. Period. So. Well, I can understand that too. <laughs> what I drink pretty much amounts to turpentine in a glass. I can't imagine that that's attractive to them. <laughs> you got no taste. <laughs> <laughs> well, she has no taste left after drinking all that. Hey, we better do one last thing here. All right, what's that? I know you got a question for me. Yeah. The Arge Argentine lake duck has a penis as long as its whole body. Oh, wow. How does that work? I don't know. I'd like to see that duck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to Google that one. <laughs> Google it. See what no. happens. No. Are you ready for a question from yeah, Charlie? Yeah, we better do a question. Let's do a question. All right. Um, these, again, are from uh, a test for, like, second graders, I think. Uh-oh. The interior angle of a triangle su always sum to what degree? So if you add up, no matter what the triangle looks like, the interior angles always equal what degree? 28 degrees. No. What do you think, Heidi? I have no idea. 180 degrees. I'm I was closer than you. <laughs> <laughs> you were closer than me. That Only because true. she didn't answer, so... <laughs> All right, I'll just do the one question today. <laughs> don't, don't, you, don't you know that 28 is my standard answer? That's a good answer. I like it. It's a very good, it's never been right, not a single time, but it's a good answer. And I love your stick to itiveness. I like that a lot. Well, Charlie, thanks for hanging out with us. You going to stick around for next week as well? Well, we'll see if you let me go or not. <laughs> well, hopefully. We enjoy having you. It is uh, my favorite little program. We like to do it every week. It's a little thing we like to call Tuesdays, Tuesdays with Charlie. Charlie. Bye, Fluff. Bye, John. Oh, bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Oh, forgot, forgot about that. You forgot that part. <laughs> I'm new here. Give yourself a little credit. It's more important than ever to have a better credit card. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Camels originated in North America. How fascinating is that? You never think of camels in North America. You no. think of them in the Middle East, but there you go. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Not getting enough sleep and being hungry are two of the biggest reasons for being angry. I agree completely. You know what? Yeah. I'm hungry and tired right now. <laughs> uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Eating cucumber can cure bad breath. 
Well, that's oh, good to know. I like cucumber. I hate cucumber. I'm just, <laughs> I just. I shouldn't say know, I hate it. I don't it. know why. I just don't like it. If I eat cucumber, I'm like, eh, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I've just never craved it. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? A rat can fall from a five-story building with no injuries. How weird is that? Huh. And Do our they final, always land on their feet like I cats? don't know. They always land on the ground because that's, <laughs> uh, that's what's down there. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Forest fires move faster uphill than downhill. Because I suppose if it's going uphill, the fire going up is catching things on the fire that are up. Yeah, Yeah, that makes sense. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at genesisgoldira.com. That's genesisgoldira.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way courtesy of mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. Over half of us who have one of these in our car say we almost never use it. What is it? It's not blinker. You would just think that. <laughs> GPS? No, a sunroof. Here's yes, the thing. You, Our vehicle yes. does not have a sunroof, the one that we have now, but every vehicle we've had that has had a sunroof, I kind of forget it's there. I No, that's not true because I use the sunroof yeah, and then I close and it. And you always close it. <laughs> as soon as you get in the car, first thing you do is hey, close you the sunroof. you got to close this thing off. Yeah. All right. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way courtesy of mintervention.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If that's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring a current one. Whether you're a fan of iPhones or Samsung, they both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. This was almost in my celebrity news, but it's not. It's here instead because M. MMA fighter Conor McGregor sent the Miami Heat's beloved mascot, Bernie, to the emergency room in a yeah. promotional stunt gone wrong. Oh. So here's Jeez. what happened. There was a Denver Nuggets in Miami game and seven foot six depiction of the team's fireball logo. So that's how big this this uh, mascot, seven foot six, okay. came out wearing a robe and some boxing gloves. And it was a skit. McGregor playfully doused his pain relief spray on Bernie. And then, I don't know where, he clocked the mascot right in the head and sent him flat to the ground. Making matters Jeez. worse, he landed another punch before a staffer pulled him away oh from the mascot. Oh, my gosh. It's like, what are you doing, man? Did you forget what, what the plan was? I don't know exactly what happened there, and I know there's a lot of people. This has been on the internet for a week now. It, it happened like a week ago, and it's been all over. But like I said, it was sitting in my celebrity news, and I thought, ah, oh, this is weird. I'm gonna. That is weird. It's weird news today. Brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list. Brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. This was sent to me on Father's Day. Uh, traits you can only inherit from your father. I don't know if this is true, but they say your your dad gets credit for this or blame for this. Your gender. If you pay attention during biology oh. class, it's not news to you, but yes, it is men who are 100% responsible for the gender of a baby. Oh. I didn't know that. Crooked teeth. Studies show that if a child is prone to have crooked teeth, gum problems, whatever, it's because of the dad's side. Oh. That's where it's not candy. It's not you know all those other things, although it's those things too. Your height is determined by about 700 genetic variations inherited from both parents, but the father's height genes are the ones charged with stimulating the growth of the baby, which is most likely to determine our height. So there's that. Dimples. As adorable as they are, especially on babies, scientists say you get dimples. It's a defect, really, but it comes from dad's side. I love dimples. I do, too. And our final thing on the list here, sneezing. If you're the type of person who sneezes first, Right when you walk outside in the sun, right. that's something that your dad probably did as well. Okay. I do that, and our son does that. So 
Yeah, very true. The list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Why did the chicken cross the road? To save money on insurance at InsuranceChicken.com. Do you have the best plan for you? Find out at InsuranceChicken.com. Let's face it. We don't even want insurance. We need it. But you don't need to overpay. Head over to InsuranceChicken.com to see your rates from several different companies. All available in one place at InsuranceChicken.com. The other guys have a gecko, a duck, and an emu. Why not a chicken? Insurance insurancechicken.com that's insurancechicken.com now your quote of the day comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com quote today is from yogi Berra. he said so many funny things <laughs> yogi said he said hey boo boo no that's yogi bear oh yogi Berra. <laughs> you got to be very careful if you don't know where you're going because you might not get there Okay. <laughs> Isn't that the greatest? Yes. One of his others, it's not on the list here, but if you come to a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> like, okay. Yogi Bear. I actually have a book with a bunch of Yogi Bear quotes. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. And I think this is a really cool story. This, I just think, is wonderful. A, a woman helps a local pick-and-save worker after learning he had no heat or hot water. Oh. Yeah, this was in Wisconsin. A woman there rallied the community to help raise funds and purchase a new boiler for a beloved man who works at a store she goes to. Stephanie Peach, and she is a peach. What a nice lady. She says she's always had pleasant encounters with Dennis and mentioned uh, that during the winter that he was talking about how cold it was. Well, my boiler went out. She said, I just got to know him, and one day he told me that he hopes it stays nice out because he likes it when it's warm. My heat's not working. That's when she found out. The, the system went out about 15 months ago. Oh, my goodness. So he had no heat or hot water since then. Well, May, Stephanie launched a fundraising campaign to help him get a new boiler. And uh, they had set a little goal through the GoFundMe thing. I'm always amazed by that, by the way. They set a goal of $5,000 to get the thing fixed. And how much do you suppose they've raised oh thus my gosh. far? Uh, 80. No, 6560 Oh. So, way more than $80. Oh, you meant $80,000? <laughs> I meant $80,000. That kind of stuff happens. That's usually the way it goes. I know. It's, it's like, like so oh, we need five money. grand. Like, okay, here's yeah. 500000 Right. No, this this is really cool. I've got a link to the thing, and who knows, maybe it'll go up from there. But she just says, I'm, I'm oh, no, it was Dennis that said, I'm just flabbergasted. I guess she's one of the few people that leave me speechless. So, she did that. I love the story. I've got a link to it if you'd like to read it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening. I know there's a lot of options, things you could do with your ears at this time. You could listen to some other thing. You could listen <laughs> yes, you to could. nothing whatsoever. You could sit there. You could get some work done. I'm just saying. But you choose to listen to us, and we do appreciate it. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.